they claim they've become punkosaurs, like dinosaurs, but with punk instead of dime. I'm not quite sure what they mean by that, but it's funny anyway. And we should seize the opportunity to loaf, because it must be said that the men in black don't exactly have a reputation for silliness. Although the cover of 10, their new album, which just happens to be their 10, <laughs> features the band in drag as Margaret Thatcher and Benazir Bhutto are disguised as Yasser Arafat, amongst others, which is rather funny. Me have been a Stranglers fan for almost 15 years now, and not only because Jean-Jacques Burnel happens to be a Frenchman, born and bred, who expresses himself in English infinitely better than I do. For the past uh, three years, apart from the old single, we have hardly heard from them, which is why I'm so happy now. Oh yes, I am. Sixteen years and nearly a thousand gigs after they formed, the Stranglers still have their hard man image. And in Britain, at least, they seem stuck with it. I mean, France, they treat us as intellectuals, don't they? Whereas here, we're sort of mischievous yobs, I suppose. Well, one recent journalist described us as misfits, and I think that he was That's probably right. We, we are misfits. We, we, we don't fit into the system of things. And, uh, and so I suppose we're noticeable. I mean, we started when most bands are retiring. <laughs> Unduly bothered by the constraints of good taste, the band still deny that they've deliberately set out to shock. You can shock anyone if you think about it. Well, I don't think the public are shocked by the Stranglers. I mean, I think they're titillated by the mm. Stranglers, not shocked. I mean, everybody goes out and buys the shocking daily tabloids for titillation, not to be shocked, you know. There's always the sun. Mm -hmm. There's always the sun. As Antoine mentioned earlier, the cover of The Stranglers' new album, Ten, features them dressed as world leaders of both sexes. How did the men in black become the men in drag? I think it's one of those ideas that you have on a drunken late evening when you're uh, exchanging ideas. It's just one John loves, I mean, you know, loves doing those sort I of things. I do this in so, my spare time. So Benazir Bhutto and um, Margaret Thatcher, that was no problem. I mean, we had more problem finding someone prepared to do... Um, who was it? Arafat, yes, that was very difficult, successful. And uh, this song was muted as a possible cover with lots of long discussions between us and Roy Thomas Baker and our management. And um, we listened to it and it seemed perfect for us because it's got that lovely keyboard riff and a strong bass line. It's, it's, and it's very simple. So it fitted in with what all these other songs on the album. It fitted perfectly. they may be, but the Stranglers are unlikely to become extinct with the kind of support which has made their fan club legendary. We don't regard it as a fan club, although it's, um, um, <coughs> it's an information service, but it's, I think we have more subscribers than any other band in the world. And now, from the men in black to a black woman. Queen Latifah, America's newest black superstar.